And welcome back to Frostpunk. We are here with Jelly Frost. It's episode two. And we are set, we're taking off from where we left off. So the survivors just arrived. We've got some stuff being built. One machine is the coal mine stopped because the child got trapped in it. So we're thinking, what do we need to build? Right. Next thing is the steelworks. I do believe we have the steelworks available. Double pumping these would be very useful to us. We've got the wood. So let's do it. What I'm going to do is try and keep the roads as, as little as possible intrusively on things. Plus we get rid of these roads, we don't need this one. Oh no, get rid, get rid. Idiot that. There we go, we can dismantle that street. We can also dismantle this street. So dismantle it a bit weirdly there though. Don't need it, there is a potential coal mine there, but we're okay for now. There you go. So we've got the steelworks now coming out. That's gonna be fantastic. And we do have another medical post being pumped. We're gonna need it, because I want people to start getting healed up. I'm gonna get them. Oh, they're very comfortable already. Because it's so warm. You don't have to worry about them yet. Oh, one of our people died. Really? Oh, that's a shame. But we did take less things. We have a nice funeral place. Someone died. Oh, because they're homeless. I'm a friggin' idiot. I didn't even realise. <laughs> I forgot to build that fourth home. That's why they've died. Okay, quickly get it built. Yeah, okay. The injured child has also died. Christ almighty. Two deaths in a matter of seconds. Okay, quickly get them in. Bang, so that was my own fault for being a moron. Right. A lot of child labours are going to have to happen today, fortunately. But that is for the greater good. We'll also get them doing. But the steel and the coal and the wood and all that stuff is going to be very useful to us. People don't realise how useful this stuff is. It seems like I'm industrializing quite quickly. But I need bunk houses. It will keep them warm at night. It will keep us all happy. The fact is, the happier you are, the better we will be. Um, when's that? Oh, actually, I don't think we need... The heaters are going to be actually a good turn off for a little bit. Pretty warm. We're actually going to try and save as much coal as possible. As of now. I know a bit tight, but the more coal we can stack up early, the better. We've got another day of this, so we might as well keep at it. As you can see, everyone seems okay. There we go, we're getting a bit through it. But the bunk houses will definitely be needed. There we go. What is that? Six sickness absences. Sick absences. Absences. Jesus, I can't speak. They only go down to minus 40 though on the next one. Right. Sawmill upgrade's been done. I think we'll go for medical post upgrade. Because we just need it. It'll make us 10% more efficient on them, which is fantastic. And there we go. We're doing quite well. Everything. Um, everyone's quite warm. That's livable. Not comfortable. But it'll do. We're stacking up a lot of resources. What will we all do while the coal's stacking up? Um, we will get another resource depot. Or coal. It's quite expensive they are, but they're very useful. And there we go. Coal pile actually depleted there. So that gathering post. Oh no, he's still, still got something to do, but that's more bodies we'll have available. Which is fantastic. And that medical post upgrade's been done. Next one I think that's probably going to be most viable is the bunkhouse. It's only going to be minus 40 for a bit, so we'll be able to get those bunk houses early. They need to really get that resource depot done so we can start stacking coal. We have about 12 days, which is a crap ton. Steel and coal from there, which is great. Snow covered supplies or empty shelter. We'll go for the snow covered supplies. I don't actually need more survivors for a bit. The next thing will be basically upgrading and getting better. There we go, more coal. Fantastic. Stacking it up. But yeah, basically bunk houses, and I want to get enough coal that so I can you generate a level two when it's colder. And range upgrades keep things going during the storms, but we all need to stack up a crap ton of coal for that. Hope and discontent. Obviously, we all know about that. Not that many people are ill now, which is really good. Patients. There's two patients in there. Is there any patients in there? No. So what we're gonna do? We, we could even get some engineers out there if we're not die for them. At the moment, I think we'll just keep them in for now. Nothing too major. There we go, we are doing really well. But obviously people might disagree with having child labour. But it does work quite well. Um, the care house is actually really good. Um, great with the old people staying there and take up less rations. And also it keeps people happy to have the care house. So I think if I do the care house... Just there, we'll stack it there. And it, it's a bit more of a hope one as well. Which I think is always good. There you go. Okay, house will get built and it'll quickly boost hope. Discontent's really low on this one, which is going really well because normally I've got a lot higher. Food is getting a bit tight though. Ugh, we may have to go for soup next. Definitely getting tight on food. Now, now we're going to stack the heaters on. 
because for, for sure, yeah, everything just got colder by a massive amount. Just went down to minus 40. Well, that was quite a big dip. But things are chilly, but which is still in the kind of better zone for the cold or the heat levels. We just need more wood. Steel stacking, but more wood would be great. Gathering post is still pumping. So about seven days, which is fantastic. Food's being made. And do that. There we go. Bunk house is researched. Hot house. Not yet. Um, generator power upgrade would be good. And what we're going to do is start building some of the bunk houses. We'll get two built at a time. We're not in a rush because you're obviously homeless while you're doing it. Gathering post is gone. So we're going to get rid of that as well. And they can build those bunk houses. There we go. And what you do is you can try and build them in the day when they're not using them. And they're not homeless at night. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So we can easily knock out a few more of these whilst... What's this? Cold homes. Let's see some homes. You have to... Uh, I won't address this now because we've got another high heat level coming down. That's a bit of a trap on sometimes. There we go. Two homes done. What you see, they're quite more... They're chilly at the moment. Oh, get the care home warmed up. They are chilly at the moment. So, thing is, which one has patience in? None. Well, take it out of use then. It gives us more engineers. Those the engineers back. Fantastic. And get them to... I don't think what else would be useful now. So, resource-wise, another sawmill might be... Might be a good idea, actually. If we put it... What's that for? That's for... I don't know what that's for. I don't know what that's for. It looks a bit like wall drill or something. Obviously we can pick up quite a lot of trees just from plonking it down there anyway. It'll be enough to keep it busy anyway, put it that way. So what we'll do is we'll build that around there and have another sawmill just to pump resources. We've got tons of coal coming in, that's great. He's awaiting. Raw food, that's not the worst thing ever. Snow dune, keep them going. So we are doing alright I think. We've got loads of coal stacked up. I like to keep coal stacked up madly though because obviously once you get to the higher uh, levels of temperature, you start burning through coal at twice the rate. It quickly starts going down. Trust me, it definitely does. And there we go, we can get more people pumping. We're going to get more bunk houses built as soon as possible. That's a big thing. Oh, all of a sudden people start getting ill again. And the storm is not far off, so this is where we really have to start working hard. Discontent just rose, which is a son of a bitch. There we go, keep going. Right, so they're now working again. Let's get some bunk houses built. Three, four, let's get them done. There we go, generate a power upgrade. Now, do we, do we actually need the power upgrade being used just now? This is down to about five days, which is, means we've still got loads stacked. And it keeps them warm and keeps them, them very warm, which is good. And uh, tech wise, I'm thinking what's going to be useful for us, most useful. Um. Resource depth upgrade would be useful because we're getting quite close on the coal. Uh, we've got quite a bit of food. Uh, we'll have to go to soup there, maybe. Hopefully they're going to start building those bunk houses as quickly as possible. Um, they're still making work. They're obviously working hard. Tons of steel coming in, which is great. Oh, book of laws. Soup. Where's the soup? Hey, me the soup. So the, the cook house will go for soup produce more food basically from rations it'll piss people off a bit annoy them don't worry there we go oh more tech we go to the next level that's gonna be pricey as hell though uh actually generate a range upgrade because if we have enough coal we can make use of that because right now we are burning how much are we burning it's slightly above as long as we're stacking up enough before the storm we don't have to use the range upgrade yet Get those bunk houses um, built as well, possible. Come on, start working. Come on, you lazy sons of bitches. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Please. Get it built. Yep, keep them warm. Good stuff. Explore. Nothing there. Right, one sec. Let me just check. How long till the storm? An 11, 12, 30. three days. Right. How far is it to come back? One day, 10 hours. Industrial ruins. It's going to get really tight for that. How far away is that? 24 hours. You know what, we're just going to bring them back now because it's getting it's getting close. I'd rather have those five people alive. They've done quite well on the scavenging with the survivors and stuff. We are getting tight on food as well. More people are getting sick. So let's get that operative. And what we'll do, put the engineers back in there and start getting people healed up as quickly as possible. 
And we're doing okay. It is going to get colder again. Um, I'll get that done. And more people we can keep alive. I don't think we've lost too many people. I think there's a memorial thing somewhere. I can see she was died, I think, I believe. Housing condition. It's not the best, but again there. Oh, you can see who's died in the funeral place. Buried citizens lie here. I think one died in there. It's not too bad. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Alright. I have a plan. I want bunk cars just spammed out now. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the people off the steel works to build them whilst everyone's at work so they won't suddenly start freezing to death. That's the plan anyway. Um, I think if we go for Faith, House of Prayer, because that can be useful. We can build them to maintain a bit of hope and stuff. But these bunk houses being built will be the PL of Resistance because they'll keep people very warm and they will basically keep people alive during the storms, which is priority. Frostbite, yeah, I know it's a pain in the arse. We can't sort that yet, right. Don't want the range upgrade being used yet because it pumps through. Like, if you put that on two, down to three days, you see what I mean? It absolutely burns through fuel. But what we can do is upgrade to the. Well, there's anything really major on this. A coal thumper, actually. We should probably get that while it's still there. Get these bunk houses built as soon as possible and then get back on those steel mills, you lazy sons of bitches. There we go. And we'll say this. We could probably do with a resource depot for wood. <laughs> Didn't oh house of faith house of prayer though. It's gonna to take up more space. Sometimes it's a bit of a thing for roads there. It'll take up more space than it should, which is really irritating. Um I'm trying to think maybe it'd be a good spot for it. Can we put it in there? Oh that's not too bad. I can get more if I do it like that. Let's try and get it there. We can always move these at a later date, it's not in the world. Let's get these well we can actually get some roads connected though here. And of course we'll probably do get some roads connected around there. Lovely. Oh, just used to crap on the wood, which is good. Oh. What's this? Cold homes. Let's eat some homes. Uh, no. I won't address this now because the storm's coming and it'll just fail. We'll take the discontent here. It's fine. I'm sure I've got a road towards that thing. Or has it been a pain in the ass? Okay. There you go. It's getting built. Stop whinging. House of Prayer built. That's cool. We're going down the faith route. That'll get us a lot of stuff. Is that too cold to work? Son of a bitch. We may have to get um, the um, heating things as well. A few people ill, which is not ideal. Oh my god, can you hear the thunder outside my house? Holy moly, that is loud as hell. I feel like a fighter jet being shot down, that's badass. Love it. I might actually go outside and just to challenge the storm to a fight. I fear no demon. Well, I fear, I say I don't fear no demon, but we'll see. <laughs> So as you can see, the storm is coming soon, and after that, the temperature will rise by three. We do. I think we're still stacking coal, still making profit in the coal region. Oh, they're actually burning more coal than we're using. Oh, they're getting in. That is not good. That is really not good. Um, that because we're using so many heat, as I imagine. Uh, ooh, that ain't cool. We could go for another coal thumper. Oh no, we could actually get the coal thumper ready and we can always switch stuff. Once it's ready, we'll smack a coal thumper down. We can make use of that eventually. The generators on steam level 2, it needs to be because it's cold. These guys are almost back. We can get the coal thumper ready. It's fine. What we'll do is we will. What was this? Storm on the horizon. Yes, I can see it. You swine hound. Expand. Lovely. Right. Let's just go steady and see what we need. We've got enough stuff housing wise to keep people going. We can probably get some stuff off the wood thing and build and pull them once it's ready. More cruel storms. I know, I know, I know. Right. Right, what am I going to do? We do need a steam hub, I believe. Just to keep that warm so we can keep that going once things go bad. Coal thump doesn't have to be built anywhere, does it? You can just go anywhere and it just extracts it from the ground. What we do need to do is have it so we can put the, the gathering post near where it like, like an actual um, something to keep them warm. If we can. I don't think where it'll go. That wouldn't be the worst spot in the world. Oh, it's not the best spot either. 
Uh, I don't think we can make use of it. I want it out of the way because it's quite a horrible thing to have to look after. So we need gathering posts where they'll fit quite nicely and stuff. Right, because we can always pull a steam hub thing there. So that can be our backup coal thing there, which is good. Um, we're getting ready for pain. Pain. We also need that to be warm enough that we can use it. Stop. Right. I think we have everything of use down here that we really need. Uh, hot house is not needed yet. We will go for drawing boards level two. We also get a steamy thing, steam hub built there. We also want ready one ready. Well, oh, that's a nice spot. Put it right there. That'll keep us going. Getting built. Getting built. Getting built. Right. We'll turn that off for now. Get it off. Get it off. Off. Turn them off for now. We, don't, we only need him for a bit once the once the day starts so we can get that food made as quickly as possible. So people are starting to get hungry, which is really bad. What's this? The, re the rebirth of the faith. So people are starting to visit the house of prayer. There aren't many of them yet, but it might be a start of something special. It seems like they really need a proper place of worship. You see, faith is coming back. Now we do have Book of Laws. I will do extended shift one. It's not popular right now. We'll wind people up, but we need it. I do believe we can do sermon, get a bit of hope up there. Let's get things built. We haven't got enough bodies to get everything done yet. What we can do is get coal thumper working. We do need that one on. We are going to use down to five days, and we are using more than what we are. Coal gate, oh, we are just under it, so we have got enough to get through the storm, which is good. Um, as soon as it hits daytime, we're going to turn that onto that and start you know, basically getting some food made. There we go, fantastic. Keep going. As the day starts, I believe it's seven. Turn this on. Oh, late. No, no, not that one. Wrong one. Six to eight, there you go. How is that not warm enough to work? Come on, it's got to be. Chilly inside to it, is that not on? Oh, it's because of the maximum oil. Right, now I can start making food really quick. So we need to get more workers on that food. It's the, oh, there we go, maximum anyway, it's great. There we go. We could do another resource thing being built for trees. Resource depot, get it smacked. There we go, come on. Right, whilst you're waiting. Ooh, that's some good stuff here. Um, Eating, steam range. I'm trying to think that's really useful to us. I think getting hunt oh, hunters tactics. That means it can get more hunters, or the you employ less people, which is good. Is that food being made? Come on, stop being lazy, sons of bitches, get it made. I may have to do an extended shift on that. Emergency shift. <sighs> Just do it, screw it, I don't care. Purpose. Even prayers, let's do it. We have to take the discontent here. I need you making food as quickly as possible. Get it freaking working, you lazy swines. About four days worth, we should be able to survive the storms once they hit. What? Too cold? How? On. Get work in 24 hours, get him on. Heat, heating protest, freezing homes. Let's heat some homes. I won't address this now. Just do what you freaking want. Stop being stupid. Right. Food is getting made, right. This is going to get bad. You need to keep making food as quickly as possible. Right. This is where things get dicey. We can keep them on. We're going to have to turn everything off and get everyone back to the homes. Because the storm will come and everything will shut down anyway. So, this is the tactic I use to stop everyone freezing to death. Oh, that's the plan anyway. Right. Turn all the heaters off, so everything's shut down. I can keep them on anyway, because it doesn't actually matter, because nothing's being used. Um, 
everything should be shut down. That is out of the area of kind of thing. And we go to the range setting two, and give us about two days of heat. Hopefully. Oh, actually, no, don't do it. Just, yeah. No. Stay at one for now, and then go to range setting two about five in the morning. So we should just be able to squeak in there. We can turn that off now. They made enough food, turn this little bitch off. I guess it took about five days, there we go. Now we put range setting two on, we should be able to sneak through. That's good wood. And we'll just turn all these heaters off just in case, because no one's going to be working anyway. We're all going to stay in the homes. We're going to stay where the freaking told. Get these gathering posts shut. It's going to get mighty cold, everyone. It's going to get really freaking cold. And we are ready for the storm, let's do it. About three days, we should just make it. It's going to go down to minus 70. But as you can see, even the even the goddamn um, medical posts aren't going to survive. We're just going to have to take the hit. What we can do is we can quickly put override on to try and get things healed if possible. Let's see if we can get things going. We've got enough food rations, I believe. They can actually still work while doing this. So what we do need is healthcare insulation if we can get that knocked out. We'll see how, if we can survive the storm. Um, that's not going to make a difference if we do that, is it? Uh, it's a bit warmer, but now we are still quite warm, so it's a storm and everyone's freezing the nuts off. So there we go, people can still eat. Um, people are actually getting healed. We are quite overriding the capacitators, but it's alright. As soon as this storm's over, we will go up 30 to minus 40, which ain't so bad, and we'll be able to start smashing coal and stuff out again. Health care insulation. We can keep researching, which is really good. I think one of the main ones will actually be more scouts will be important. Factory. That's important. More scouts will be good. That's another one that would be good. Coal optimization. Obviously, it saves us coal. Um, I'm going to go for more scouts so we can probably find some more steam cores. That'd be really useful. Another scout team. There we are, healing people. Capacitators are getting override, but it's fine. We're almost through the first day. I just like to throw that down to about 10 if possible. People are freezing now. Where? Where? Where are they freezing from? Don't know. But where are they freezing from? Is it in that? It says cold. No place should be open. Everything. Every, all the facilities have been closed, I believe. Let's close that as well then. Is it the care? No. I don't have a freaking clue. I'm just trying to think where people might be. Not the hunters, is it? I've got an idea. We'll just make these inoperable as well because they can't work anyway. Let's see if that stops. 19 freezing. Don't know where from. Oh, yeah, it must have been the hunters. That's my bad. Right, so we're just going to keep the couplings on until we can't have them on anymore. People are very cold. Oh, people are getting cold. So there's going to be a lot of injured bodies. Purpose, can we sneak something out here? Faith keepers, the temple. We can't actually afford to build them yet, so let's just wait. Is there anything on the Book of Wars? Oh, that could be used from this side. Uh, not really, no. Oh, prosthetics, we'll sign it, even though we can't really use it. We do sermon. A bit of hope up there. We'll have to turn the capacitors off. That means that will no longer work. The um... oh, actually, do we get insulation for the things so they can keep working? That's fantastic. There we go. We should be okay. People are staying in the houses, staying warm. We're a day away from what we need to be. We should be able to make this and get straight back on because it's going to rise to minus forty. We might be able to turn down the generator quite a bit. Um, light scout sleds. Oh, that's amazing. 50% faster because we need those steam cores to be brought back. Because the best option is not building more coal mines. We're getting these to steam coal mines so we can keep pumping up. A note of thanks for kids. That's fine. I don't really care. I care about keeping people alive. Keep your brats in line. We're getting very close to running out of coal though. About a day. It's getting spicy. It's getting very spicy. It's going to warm for the next day. We have made it with limited deaths, I believe. I think we've only lost one guy and his child. Touch wood so far. That's pretty good. We're almost there, we're almost there, we're almost there. 
few people could be getting spiced up. And then what we will do, because the, the temperature will rise today, we get all these all these inoperative things back in operation, ready for the next working day. The heaters can jump on as well. Because the quicker we get everyone back to work, the better. We also have a sawmill. We'll keep the coal bumper, bumper stacking as well. That's fantastic. What about heaters? Get more ready. Basically, the biggest thing will be to rebuild our coal reserves back up as soon as possible. There we go. Cool. A few people injured. Should be okay. God, I'm tired. I feel your pain, brother. Right. So the temperature's just shot right. We need to get some guys for the sledges. We need 10 workers. Now, we're quite good on wood. So we need to get those workers back. What we'll do? Team 1. Left side path, rock gate. Go for rock gate. And then we'll also get team 2. We have a cliffside path. There we go, we've got two sledge teams moving out. Good stuff. We should be stacking coal. And what we'll do, we're going down to steam level one, range level one as well. Yeah, and now probably a bit harsh on the people. But it is what it is. Animal migration, right. Worsting weather has caused the game animals to seek out new places until the hunters can find a new habitat, which to hunt they will bring in 90% less raw food. Now this is what I mean by random hazards. So that is massively dangerous. We are low on food. The next thing we will need to go for is the hothouse, for sure. I think we may switch to the hothouse straight away. There's the hothouse. There. We'll have to cancel this. Go straight for the hothouse, because we're going to need food, like an absolute son of a bitch. And that lasts five days, which is a big hit. We only have one steam core, that's why I saved a few. And what's this? New settlement spotted. We may, have to, we may have to visit him once we get there. Um, we're doing okay resource-wise. People are getting healed up. How's it looking temperature-wise? We're doing pretty good. What we're doing coal-wise? We are making quite a bit, actually, which is great. And the capacitators are coming down, which is fantastic. And hopefully they'll get that hothouse research in time so we can start stacking it because we're going to start running that food real quick. Right, let's get the hothouse built. Where is it? Food hothouse. I'm trying to think where is a good spot because actually we've got heating and stuff over here. We also have heating over here, but it's sneaking in. I'm just going to slot it. I'll slot it near the care home. Probably not the best location, actually. Um, Put it there. It's not a bad one. And tech wise, very good, but you need steam cores for that. Cookhouse insulation would be useful. Flying hunters, but it's not going to matter at the moment. Hot plows insulation. Uh, is there anything else that's good? Reuse. Coal mining optimization gives us 10% more. Coal. Oh, where's that? That's 10% less coal, which is actually pretty good in the long run. That's going to give us 10% more usage out of the coal. You think every 10 days that will give us an extra day. Still useful in the long run, I think. It's too cold. Yeah, it will be once the heat is on, you douchebag. Cold homes. Let's heat some homes. Start eating two holes. If we heat four homes, people will be happy. Okay, steam level two. Let's do it. We're heating them? Are you serious? Not heated? Secure at least three livable conditions in homes. In the cold homes. Where are the cold homes at? Is it just the. Oh, just these on the edges? Right, okay, stay on level one. I'm gonna plan. A bit sneaky, but it'll work. Steam hub. There you go, chuck it there. It's also gonna cover the hothouse anyway. Whoa! And we'll also go for faith keepers in case they start trying to riot some sugar. Hear me, hear me. Those things are off. Um, obviously, hothouse, get it done. We do need bodies straight in the hothouse. Just get it working, it'll be good. We have one body spare, get another coal thumper. We're out of wood at the moment. So that is. Right, we just have to keep the houses for another day. Should be able to manage it, I hope. Oh, we also need to build the faith keepers. Um, not really sure where we can slot these in. Somewhere nice to slot them in. I quite like it there. I quite like to build them near where the temple will be built. I like them to look quite cool. So I'm going to build them out there, quite far away. And have them, like, travelling down this big road. Everyone should fear the faith keepers, I think, personally. 
awaiting what we got. A distinct spot in Frostland. Lonely light or snow hill. And you say we found a settlement hot springs. I'm pretty sure that gives us food, so that could be quite useful. We'll go there early. Try and get some uh, resources and stuff out of them. So we are getting a bit of food from the hothouse, but not that much. Generator efficiency is good. Or do we, have it? we need to put one person in that. Oh, we can borrow one from the... Um, we can borrow two from there. There we go, bang in. Um, Resource-wise, what can we do? Improve heaters, that's expensive. Steam up range. Light the scouts, I just don't want that. That's be really useful to us. Oh! And here's the faith, because we've got the uh, faith keepers in. They come and start stomping schools anytime we need them. Which I adore. Which I adore. That would be cool. So I was just texting. My friend has just realised there's a massive thunderstorm, and she has panicked. I would as well. She's not a fan of thunder and lightning. I can respect that. Uh, we do have food still. People are healing. There's one person who's an amputee. Is that one in the care home? Just the amputee. It's a child. Lazy son of a bitch. But we are doing okay. We're still cracking on. The faith keepers can do some damage. Oh, the heat is off. We should probably warm that up. We don't want the faith keepers dying. How are we doing fuel-wise? Fuel still getting coal in. Good stuff. There we go. Doing quite well. That can go off. We don't need that for now. And hopefully these hot homes will get in before the temperature drops, or they'll stay warm enough that will you know, be acceptable. Yeah, I hope so anyway. So it'll give us a nice boost. If not, we'll fail and we'll get really pissy, which is stupid. Food and wooden water, raw food, cracked ice, we're going over there. It's doing quite well. There we go, we're going very effectively here. Just get to the next day. Yeah, we're not doing too bad overall though. We've got a bit of a coal stockpile coming. I'd really like to get to like five or six days ahead. Because it's quite cold. I'd also like to get more steam cores so I can upgrade to like steam coal mines and stuff like that. This content just dropped quite a bit and then it rose quite a lot. It's strange. I am confused, but it doesn't matter. We are going to start struggling for food. And that's another four days on that. That ain't cool. That ain't cool at all. Yeah, people are starting to Promise broken. That's what annoys me. You get these ones and they slightly drops. We were heating your houses, you lazy sugars. Minus 50. I'll have to just deal with that. I'm sorry. It is what it is. If you don't like it, you can suck a nipple. People are going to start getting hungry. I don't like it. No, I don't like it either. Um, what would be useful now? Infirmary, we're making steam cores. Hot house insulation would be useful. Cook house insulation would also be very useful. Let's get that one done. Keep going, keep going. Just keep working. That's also cold, so they're not now not growing food. Let's turn that on so we can keep it warm. We're going to grow food now, good stuff. People, no discontents rising, you sons of bitches. Mild frostbite, yeah, I know. We're trying our best to keep people going. Can we get I think we can get some useful things out of this. Public penance. I think it lowers discontent as well. The keepers have the right idea, right? Faith keepers have found illegal such food. This is quite basic. They plan to distribute it. Add to the stockpile. 100 food rations. Yes, I need it more than you can imagine. That came at a perfect time. Discontent rose from that. You can suck a nipple. Public penance. People may get injured. Do it. And then we've got more tech coming. Discontent is shooting up there. This is not good. It's not good at all. Um, coal mining optimization would be useful. Steel coal thumper. Pumping steel coal thumper. What about oh, steel coal mining? Jesus, that'd be useful. As of now, I think going for... Uh, I think as well going for the insulation to keep things warm. Oh, there. They found what they found. Empty cave. Could be more bodies, which would be useful in one sense, but it just means more people to keep alive, which also sucks. People should be eating, hopefully. Just stop a sec. Is it eating? We've got... I think we've got enough fuel coming in. Just just enough coal, but not. it's not great. And temperatures going to be dropping by 20 soon, which is really bad. Cold homes? Not. 
six of the cold homes within two days. I can't do it. I can't keep heat cold homes, douchebags. It's too coal intensive. What we can do, though, because we have tons of steel, and we can get the thumper working and get some people collecting. So we can just start collecting some of the fuel. Um, is there anything else that doesn't really need as many bodies on it? Book house is good. Need that. Borrow one of you. We could probably do with more bodies, actually. Could be useful. Actually, these aren't really being used that much either, though, no, because of the stupid thing, I just thought. Because of the stupid um, problem with that. So, might as well chuck them on that for now. Get these thing, and they can at least collect a little bunch of coal. We'll start smacking coal. Coal should be stacking up once the, uh, the actual day starts. Oh, public penance. It will beat the wickedness out of you, scum. We could do that with some of that in world life, all the scum that is running around in the real world. Got to do with a bit of that, but we'll see if it works. And there we go, we're doing quite well. This content did drop a bit. We get some hope out of this. Let's do it, sermon. And I think we'll end this episode of Frostbunk here. I think we've done quite well. We survived the storms. But we got through quite a bit. We did get a bit more done. And we're getting there. I'm still learning. I haven't played too much Frostpunk in my life. No, not at this point. But we are getting there. I think this, the city's doing rather well. We do need to get a nice coal storage going up. I think that's where we'll work now. We also do need to get things heated up more, better zones, so we can keep, for instance, heat level 2 going constant, constantly, which would be great. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the second episode of the series. Obviously, like, comment, subscribe, do what you want. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. And you guys have a fantastic day.